Sure, socialism has had its problems, but it's still a great theory. Well, actually, I think it sucks as a theory. How dare you? I'm Nick Freitas, and this is The Why Minutes, where we challenge the popular narratives of our time. Now, whenever we talk about socialism, the first thing that we have to do is define our terms because there is a lot of discussion about what exactly socialism is. But it's important to point out that words have meaning, at least they still do. And in order for something to be truly socialist, then it has to incorporate this concept. Socialism is a system or condition of society in which the means of production are owned and controlled by the state or the people. So what the hell does that mean? Well, under socialism, you can still own your toothbrush or a pair of shoes or some other sort of good, but you are not permitted to have private ownership of the very capital which is needed to produce those goods and services. No, those things must be owned by either the state or some kind of collective. And while we have ample examples of such a theory failing miserably when put into practice, there are still a lot of people that insist it's a really good theory. And maybe that's because there is some comfort in believing that if only the right people were in charge and that all of us could agree on a particular course of action, then we could focus our collective efforts on making all of our lives better. The problem is we don't agree. And ultimately, any theory which subordinates your individual ideas, creativity, or goals to a collective in the name of the common good is gonna run into a couple of serious problems. And that first problem is, who gets to decide the common good? Because you as an individual certainly don't. The collective decides, which is to say some sort of simple majority. And if you and your ideas are outvoted or outmaneuvered politically when the time comes to draft the next five-year plan, well, tough for you. The second problem with the system is that it degrades our humanity and treats people as if we're nothing more than producers or consumers. Under a socialist system, you're no longer an individual. You're simply a cog in the machine that needs to be managed toward a specific goal which will be determined by someone other than you. And this is why Alexis de Tocqueville warned that socialism calls in fact for the forfeiture of human liberty to the point where I would say that it was simply a new system of serfdom. Now there are those who insist that you actually don't even need a government to implement real socialism. And so they reference anarcho-socialism, that essentially these communes could work through voluntary action. But this has already been tried hundreds of times across the United States. And you can find out how they turned out by clicking right here. I'm Nick Freitas with the Y Minutes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so you can get our new videos every Wednesday.